Vientiane is the capital city of Laos, but many visitors here say that it feels more like a small village than a bustling central hub. Vientiane has a relaxed and serene vibe to it and you will find a number of attractions here that make it the perfect place to spend a few days before you head off to other places around the country. Laos used to be a former French colony and with that in mind you can check out a number of French-themed buildings and attractions that seem slightly at odds with the otherwise leafy and exotic surroundings that make up this capital city. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Vientiane so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Fa That Luan. Patuxai Victory Monument is one of the best-known landmarks in Vientiane and was designed to resemble the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. It is however also carved with symbols of Hindu gods and has an additional five towers which resemble traditional Laotian buildings, making this something of an east-meets-west kind of attraction. The monument is part of the wider Patuxai Park and this is a great place to come if you want to go for a serene walk at sunset. At number 9 is the Xian Quan. Xian Quan is also known as Buddha Park and is some 25 kilometers outside Vientiane. As you would guess from the name, it is known for having more than 200 religious statues which are scattered all over the lush grounds. The piece de resistance here is a sculpture of a reclining Buddha which is some 40 meters high and the park was the brainchild of a monk who designed the area in 1958 and who was interested in both Hindu and Buddhist sculpture, which is why you will find a mix of different influences here. At number 8, Patuxai. Patuxai is reminiscent of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris but with Laotian characteristics, including four arches and five ornate towers at the top. The arch or gateway, as it translates, was built to commemorate Laos gaining its independence from France. This Vientiane attraction is dedicated to the Laotian soldiers who died in World War II and in the battles for independence from France. Patuxai is sometimes known as the vertical runway because it was built with American money and materials intended for a new airport. At number 7, Buddha Park. Buddha Park, with its amazing collection of Buddhist and Hindu statues, is adjacent to the Mekong River about 24 kilometers, 15 miles, from Vientiane. It contains more than 200 statues, including a 40-meter, 131-foot, high statue of a sleeping Buddha. Travelers who want the best pictures of this famous sculpture park will need to deal with the demon. Shutterbugs need to climb a stone ladder three stories to the top of a pumpkin structure. The entrance is shaped like a demon's mouth. At number 6 in our list, what see socket? What see socket is a Vientiane temple that is famous for a wall that contains hundreds of seated Buddhists sitting before thousands of tiny images and soft triangular shaped openings in the wall. The 6,800 images are made from wood, stone, and bronze. This amazing collection of Buddhist art dates from the 16th to the 18th centuries. Savvy travelers will visit the temple early in the morning for the colorful Buddhist services. The oldest Buddhist monastery in Laos, Wat Si Sake sports a graceful architectural style that is enhanced with verandas and a five-tiered roof. At number 5, Kaesom Phambihain Museum. The Kaesong Phambihain Museum was opened to commemorate the 75th birthday of the President of Laos and is also a monument to one of the most famous communist leaders in Indochina. The museum is made up a number of galleries that tell the story of Kaesong, who in real life was actually rather private about his day-to-day -day affairs. 
Both inside and outside the museum, you will see a number of statues of Quezon made of bronze, and you can also check out a range of his personal memorabilia. At number 4, what ho fracio? What Ho Fracio is a Buddhist temple in Vientiane which was built in 1565 and is also one of the most spectacular buildings in the city. It is famous as it used to be the location of the famous Emerald Buddha statues which was stolen by Laotian royalty from Thailand before being retaken in 1778 and returned. You can still see the statue in Wat Phra Kheo in Bangkok and the temple in Laos is still known as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha in reference to the story of the carving. At number 3 in our list, Vientiane Night Market. Vientiane Night Market is located along the scenic waterfront in the city. The market usually gets going around sunset and you can come here to buy a range of items like clothes, textiles, accessories, handicrafts, paintings, and myriad souvenirs. In addition to the actual market stalls you will also find a wide range of street food stalls here where you can snack on some traditional Laotian snacks like barbecued meats, making this one of the cheapest places in Vientiane to dine in the evenings. At number 2, Vientiane Riverfront. When the workday is over in Vientiane, locals head to the riverfront, which teems with a smorgasbord of activities. Located on the Mekong River that separates Vientiane from Thailand, visitors will find a colorful night market, lined with stalls selling daily necessities and food to snack on while walking the promenade. Travelers also may want to relax at a bar with a beer lao while watching the sunset or fishermen at work. Check out the number one places in our list, Lao National Museum. The Lao National Museum is a good place to learn about the Lao people from prehistoric times on as well as spend a few hours out of the sun. It's located in an old French colonial building that is falling apart and some of the exhibits are faded, but this doesn't detract from the contents. The bottom floor concentrates on the country's early history, with dinosaur bones and pottery shards. The upper floor deals with a more modern Laos, including French colonization and fight for independence, and United States presence during the Vietnam War. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Vientiane. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.